Okay, so uh, moving on to the next modification, a really fun one to do is uh, sound mod. Of course, this is going to depend a lot on what phone you have. And um, so again, we've been building for the S4, older phone I know, but the principles are kind of the same. Um, this part's really going to vary a lot uh, depending on what board or system on a chip that you're using. So again, we're looking at the M919. And it's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 system on a chip. So if we click on that to uh, read up about it, we don't see any information like on this Wikipedia about what sound chip or what sound device is used inside of it. So another good way to look something like this up would be like a teardown. We see uh, this is a Galaxy S4 teardown on iFixit. And it's really neat because here in uh, step 13, they highlighted the different uh, chips for us. And we see this little purple one here. This is a Qualcomm uh, WCD9310 audio codec chip. So that tells us what kind of, uh, of audio chip that we have and what, um, what direction we should go to look for modification. So, um, in this case, uh, you know, we've actually, um, if we type in, you know, 9310 on our def config, we see, yep, here it is. Another option here, you see codec. So you could also type in codec and try to see what's available and, and maybe go that route to uh, determine what sound card or what sound chip is in your phone or tablet or device. But so if we go to uh, the JF folder, we go to sound um, here in the kernel, we see the system on a chip for that. We see the codec and, uh, and we can see here we have the WCD9310. So um, we, uh, we now know exactly where we can look for modifying the sound. And again, this is really going to be dependent on uh, you know what what chip you have uh, in your phone. And so, what I'm about to show you may not help you specifically at all, but at least generically, you understand how um, how this could work. So, um, Fox Sound uh, is definitely not something that I made. I want to be really clear about that. Um, Paul uh, Rio, I think, is how you say his name. Um, Fox 123 made uh, Fox Sound, and so here we see um, his name and and whatnot. And uh, so made this cool modification where you can actually control the sound on your phone and increase or decrease uh, certain um, you know amplification and uh, and do some really cool stuff. So how would we go about inputting something like this? Well, of course here in this uh, sound folder we would need to open up our um, K config so again we're in our in our kernel folder here we go to the sound we go to system on a chip we go to codex and we uh, look for that K config and we're going to open it up in, in both windows so we can compare them here codec K config and you can see here that I've, I've added this previously to the kernel that I have on the on the right, but we're adding it to the uh, to the left here. So, <clears throat> just once again, this K config file. This is the this is the menu, you know, that uh, you get to choose what you uh, what you uh, want to be built into your kernel. And so we're going to, you know, transfer this over and uh, just giving us the option default is going to be yes and it's giving us the sound control uh, for the WCD 9310 so um, we'll go ahead and save that now remember this is default to yes so we don't have to specifically add it to our um, you know our uh, DEF CON our uh, configuration for our phone so we'll save this uh, and then so we've 
we've added it to the menu now we need to add instructions how to make it so we open the make file for both of these and uh, we see here um, two portions that have changed uh, when uh, when I added this before um, I didn't have to change the other the other second portion that was changed there so we won't have to do that here um, it's always something to look at though so here we go for the Fox sound um, we can just transfer this right over but it's just saying hey if they said yes we want to build Fox sound then yes we're gonna build sound control GPL dot object right which comes from the sound control GPL dot C source file so we've uh, we now see that here's that uh, source file that we need to need to make sure we add to our build so we've we've said yes we want it on the menu we said here's the instructions for how to make it uh, and now we need the source code to actually be able to um, build it so let's see uh, sound there it is sound control GPL so we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it into our folder here and we see there it is so uh, let's go ahead and take a look in here um, once again Fox 123 made this not me definitely want to give credit where it's due um, and what else what else do we need to do here so um, there was also a change that was done to the uh, 9310 C file for the sound itself to say hey you can now read from this uh, from this other file so let's open that up and oops uh, so we've got our make files I think I'll go ahead and make this change too while I'm here but that's that's not exactly related to specifically to what we're doing um, but we need to go to this 9310 uh, WCD 9310 C open that up uh, notice there is a H file there as well that's a header file so make sure you're in the C file we open that up and we see we would have to include that well, just kind of thinking out loud here for a second. See if we want to include that or not. I'm going to say I'm going to say maybe not. Maybe we don't need that on there. Let's uh maybe we should focus on what it is we uh we're here to build but um, so we need to find this uh, sound control hacks GPL let's see here there it is so this is what we need to add for the modification for um, Fox sound control um, these these other changes that are here from a different uh, different uh, changes that have been made for sound modifications and I I don't think uh, we'd have to start including a bunch of things so I don't think we really want to do that at this point but this is just to set up uh, Fox Sound so we'll just stick with what we uh, what we originally intended to do um, And it makes me think, though, uh, let me see here, that we added this WCD Cal HW dependency, and I don't think we should have added that. So we're going to take that back out because that's not part of what we were, what we were doing or what we were intending to do. So we should make sure to stick with the with the plan here. 
but adding adding a sound modification you know there's a lot that goes into it and as you look through that that file you could start editing you know the sound yourself but what uh, Fox 123 did which is really awesome uh, and we're just going to go ahead and build that is he he has enabled a way for you to control it from an application in user space so you have Android running you open the app and you can actually start making changes to your sound um, essentially the sound chip while it's in use so that's pretty cool um, you know there's a lot of different uh, sound mods uh, one that I installed for the um, uh, the Galaxy S5 was called uh, I think it was called simple sound uh, another uh, gentleman had made and uh, that was a pretty cool little mod that just showed up in kernel auditor and would allow you to adjust that there so so yeah again um, it's really phone specific it's really chip specific but uh, you'd be surprised if you start poking around a little bit you can see some things that you might find interesting to change and uh, different settings that you can adjust in the sound yourself so you know maybe you want to increase the bass a little bit or uh, increase the volume so definitely things to look at and what you can do there so I'm just gonna let this build and uh, we'll be all uh, done all right make was completed successfully and uh, there we go thanks to Fox 123 so we can take a look at our um, kernel objects for sound and for a system on a chip and uh, codecs. And here we see that um, sound control GPL. So got built successfully, and then you just have to try it out to see um, how well that worked.